Well, let's see. This is the next step in the process. Um, so we have uh, built the board out a little more. Um, we still have our 6502 down here. Um, but over here we have an EEPROM, which I've programmed with a very small, simple little test program. All that test program does is it sort of uh, has a little delay loop um, in low memory and then it jumps to the same code that's reproduced in high memory. So it does the loop twice um, in two different places in memory. Um, and over here we still have some um, LEDs that are connected to some of the address lines. And so the blinking is showing us whereabouts in memory the program is currently executing. So we can see those three lights that turn on and off. Um, and when they're on, that's because we're executing the loop that's located in high memory. And when they're off, we're executing the loop that's located in low memory. So, um, so this is really nice. Last time we were just free running and now we're actually running software. Um, in fact, we're running the first 6502 assembly code that I've written in 31 years. Um, so it's a... Uh, nice that I still remembered how to do it and it's um, even nicer that it's running on a computer we built, um, I built myself. So um, the next stage is going to be to clear some of this up because as you can see it's a total mess wiring wise. Um, I'm never going to be able to get in at that EEPROM to pull it out and reprogram it unless I do some tidying up. Um, and then also I'll want to um, add some RAM to it too so that we can actually be doing some some real programs rather than just these sort of like funny no memory test programs. Um, that's it. Uh, once I've gotten some more done, I'll um, make another video.